Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Sir David the Bard, <coughs> and um, I said I wasn't going to do another video, but you can see I lie like a rug. <laughs> well, I came across this, and if I don't do them when they're fresh and new in Utah, they bury them. They bury them. They're experts at sweeping stuff under the carpet. Uh, their carpet looks like uh, Kilauea. Is that the name? Oh, wait a second. I lose it. Hold on. No, I didn't lose it. Good. Here he comes. Okay. This is in uh, the Utah Valley Crime Watch. And, um, <clears throat> Provo Man arrested on multiple rape charges. Now, when you see this guy's picture, <laughs> he looks like a mountain man, but he's fat. Maybe he looks like a fur trapper. Well, maybe that's what he was doing, fur trapping. Anyway, uh, a Provo man was arrested earlier this week on several rape charges stemming from incidents in the 1990s. I'm telling you, these guys get away with this and gals for years and years before we catch him. David Hamblin, H-A-M-B-L-I-N, is being charged with 12 counts of rape of a child, three counts of sodomy of a child, one count of attempted sodomy of a child, all first degree felonies, and two counts of aggravated sexual abuse of a child, a second degree felony. <clears throat> the charges are based on events that reportedly happened between 1991 and 1998. In Utah there is no statute of limitations for child sex crimes. That's wonderful. Murder and, and sex crimes. Because uh, a lot of sex crimes, uh, the, um, the victims don't remember or don't report it to their an adult. They used to get away with it all the time, meaning they can be prosecuted regardless of how much time has gone by. The accuser recently went to police saying uh, she is still afraid of her life because Hamblin threatened to kill her and several of her family members if she ever told anyone about the abuse. <clears throat> That's common with molesters. Uh, the accuser also said she has difficulty sleeping, that's reasonable, has to check her home every time she returns to make sure no one is there, that uh, she can't be home alone at night, and that she is afraid for her family's lives as well, according to the police statement. Wow, those things, they're all true. I'm telling you, this is like a murder. These little kids, it's like a murder. You ruin their lives. It should be lo looked at as a murder. Uh, <clears throat> the accuser said uh, the abuse took place from the time she was five years old until she was 13. Unbelievable. All those years, nobody knew, and this asshat is raping her. Uh, in the eight-page affidavit, the accuser uh, describes in de graphic detail incidents when she was raped by Hamblin as well uh, as the ways he allegedly threatened her. All of the alleged crimes took place in Provo, Utah, the capital of Mormonism at Brigham Young University. The investigation into the case is uh, ongoing. So anyway, here we go again. Uh, <laughs> where am I? I can't get back on. Have I been lost? No, no, there I am. <laughs> I get lost all the time outside. That's why I don't go outside very much anymore. I miss freeway ramps. I forget where the hell I'm going. I told you <laughs> two nights ago, I left my car on all night. I forgot to turn the damn car off. And, of course, Allison discovered it, and now I'm a, an asshat. <laughs> well, she knows that anyway. Uh, she says, Dad, you left the, the engine on all night. Well, it's a Prius, so, you know, the engine doesn't run all night just part of the night charging the battery but the car was warm when we got into it so we didn't have to warm it up anyway <clears throat> I don't care in Utah it is the highest highest rate of child molestation now what you've got to realize there's not a lot of people in Utah it's not like 20 million people in just the city of Los Angeles I think Utah now I know you guys will correct me especially the Mormons, I think there's only 1.25 million people in the whole damn state. So that means like 30% of them are raping each other. If you're a kid in this state, you should move. 
<laughs> God, I keep my girls so close you wouldn't believe it. I know where they are every damn minute. When that sun sets, they're in the house. If they're at a friend's house, they call me and I approve of whether they're able to stay. And, you know, they're not allowed to be out after dark, period. So, anyway, uh, Provo, Utah, weenie out of the pants story. Thanks.